What's up, guys? Now, I just, yeah, that just erased that from your mind. But today, I built a fort. But, yeah, I built a fort. That's all I can say. And so I've been kind of focusing on the brush pile this week. And as you can see in our other video, I made the mallet at the brush pile using my hatchet. But I built the fort at the brush pile using some of the just stray stuff. Now, I wouldn't count it as a shelter, more as a fort, because I'm probably just going to use it for airsoft and stuff like that. But I built a lot of stuff at the brush pile lately. Like, I used to have my old airsoft fort, but that kind of fell down. So that was bad. But now I got me a fort that I think will be pretty good. But let's go ahead and show you guys. I'll probably I'll just show you from go around and just show you all that. And then just show you the inside later. So this is the main area. This is the front entranceway area. What I did was we had an old um What's it called? Pallet. And I stripped all the boards off of this old pallet. And all this stuff that I built is just stuff from old from old stuff. I found that all this stuff at the... I didn't use anything that wasn't from the brush pile. But here you can kind of see all the old pallets. Stuff. I put an old Christmas tree. One of our old Christmas trees. But at the top, the roof is an old picnic table and then this was we had a barn fire a few years back and this was the aftermath of the barn fire killed most of our goats we got a flag so now we'll go around the other side so here's this side this side is just kind of the basic side here is an old blanket that i found i think it's one of the blankets that my dad used to have on his horses whenever he did rodeo so i don't know why it's back here we had to put down all our we had sold all our horses because whenever my dad quit rodeo he stopped um we just all had all the horses so we sold it and then my aunt linda broke her neck luckily she's still alive but she broke her neck on a horse so my mom made us get rid of all the horses but i think that's one of the old horse blankets and i don't know while I was here, my dad used to ride bareback, which is basically just bucking um, both horses. And he used to team rope. So, yeah. But there's that. And I'm thinking of still, of like building up a wall on this side and clearing all of that. So I can still use it as an airsoft fort because... I think that'd make a pretty good airsoft for it. Because usually, when I do airsoft out here, it's usually against the treehouse to the brush pile. So, I always use this stump right here to prop my gun up. And I always prop my gun up in this little spot right there. And then hide behind this. And it makes a good little gun spot. But now let's go into the interior. You can kind of see my airsoft place. That's the neighbors over there. And then that's the... Uh, all that's back. Probably going to be building some forts in there later whenever it gets warmer during spring. So let's go inside. So here we are on the inside. It's kind of a tight fit. But you can really lay down. This is basically the whole inside. There's the other wall over there where we put that old blanket. And then... This is the main laying area. I took some dried grass and laid it all over the ground. Makes a comfy seat. And then over here, that's just the door. You kind of see the inside walls. There's the pallet. This wall's not finished yet, so I gotta finish that. But over here, I found a whole bunch of old twine up in the brush pile. So, yeah. And then this used to be all the way to about right here. So I'm kind of digging that out. And up here, shelf for my hatchet. I need to fix the, we got a hole on the roof, that's not too good. But shelf, I might take off my hatchet and like make a special hatchet area, but make that just a shelf. But over here, 
we got a funny story about this bucket. When I was about six years old, I remember buying this bucket. And I was like, what happened to that little bucket that I had? It's pretty crushed now. But then I was digging up in the brush pile and I found it. And then I just stuck a little hook in the dirt. And then now I'm hanging it up in here so it's getting a good use. Here's the mallet that I made in yesterday's video. Well, posted on the same day, but you get the gist. Tiny mallet. And then over here I made this last year. Is a just a little sword machete thing that I made on an angle grinder. Let's prop that up so you can see. Well, bam. And actually, I'm thinking if people comment make it on our video, I will show a tutorial on how to make little swords like this. And you use an angle grinder if you got yourself an angle grinder, or you can just use a well. But I will use a belt sander. I always get them mixed up. Belt sander, not angle grinder. Maybe they're the same thing. I don't really know. But it's kind of dirty. I need to clean it off. You see. But here we got a little spot to rest them all. So. That's really the inside of the fort. I might dig this out just a little bit more because there's a hole right there. But you, so you can see, here's the bedding. So, remember to comment if you want to see one of them made. A tutorial on how to make one of these. And then, so yeah. And I figured out what to say instead of keep on survivaling. Say keep on surviving. So from MVP survival, keep on surviving. Bam, son, done.